Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. In today's video, we are going to explore how to build AI agents using Agno, an open source framework designed to make building AI agents simple and powerful. Agno allows you to create agents that can call tools, follow complex instructions, use external knowledge sources and even retain memory. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to build a basic AI agent step by step using Agno in Python. So let's dive right in and get started. So I'm going to build this in PyCharm. Uh, you can try VS Code or other IDEs that you are like kind of familiar with. Okay. So the first thing is installing the required libraries. So here I have Agno, the library that we are going to use. And then we have Grok. So here we are going to use Grok as the LLM for our agents. But feel free to use other uh, LLM providers as well. So it's kind of like an LLM agnostic uh, agent framework. So you can use OpenAI, Olama or other uh, LLM providers as well. And then we have a DuckDuckGo search, which we are going to use as a tool for, uh, you know, making an agent that can search through internet, do some research kind of a thing. And then we have python.env, where we are going to save our Grok API key. And like, you know, if there are any other secrets, we'll be saving that in a uh, .env file. So these are the libraries that we need. So first step, uh, I have my virtual environment already activated here. So you can see this VENV over here. So I have to install the required libraries. So I'll say pip install iphone r requirements.txt. So that's going to install all these libraries that I've mentioned. As you can see, I've already uh, installed these libraries. So it says requirements already satisfied. So now in the next step, I'm going to create a .env file where I'm going to save my grok API key. So if you are using grok, all you need to do is go to Google, search for grok API key, and you will see the site console.grok.com keys. So this is where you can get your grok API keys and you can just sign up to a free tier account and that should be sufficient. So here I have my uh, grok account and I'm going to create this API key and I'll call this as uh, Agno Agents API key. So just, just you can give any name over here. So this would give you the AP key that you can use. So I'll copy this and come back to my uh, PyCharm and we have to use the same variable name. So this is like important. So I'll say grok underscore API underscore key is equal to. So here paste your uh, key that we got from grok and save this. So this is my dot env file. So now I can close this and now I'll create a main dot py file cell call this as main.py and now we can just like easily build our agent. So I'll say from agno.agent import agent with a uppercase a and then from agno.models.grok import grok. So this is what we are going to use in order to use the grok provided LLMs. And then from agno dot tools dot duckduckgo import duckduckgo tools. Okay, and finally I'm going to import from dot env import load dot env. So these are the things that we need. So this is used to instantiate our agent. This is used to set up the LM for Agno. And then we have DuckDuckGo tools. So this is the search tool that we are going to give access to uh, to our agents. And then we have load dot env in order to save the environment uh, variables, which is basically the draw KP key in our case. Okay, so these are the things that we need. So now I'll create a comment and say that load the env variables. So all you have to do is uh, call this load dot env. So this is going to uh, load this grok api key to the environment variable and and when the agent run the llm automatically kind of picks this up this grok client automatically picks the uh, api key from the environment variable so that's why we are naming this as the exact grok underscore api underscore key which is where it, it's going to look for the key that we have provided and here i'll say initialize the agent with uh, grok provided llms Again, you can use uh, any provider like OpenAI or Olam or other stuffs as well. So let's say that initialize the agent with grok provided LMs. This is from a standard documentation from grok and uh, uh, Agno, but you can feel free to just like change this a bit and, and like, you know, build an agent of your choice. So it, it should be like scalable and easily configurable. 
So here I'll say LLM is equal to proc and within that we have to pass this ID which is basically the name of the model. So for this I'll come back to grok. So you can just say grok space models and from there you can get the list of models that's available over here. So in the supported model we can choose from some of these models. So maybe I'll choose a kind of like a larger model which is this 70 billion versatile. So I've copied it and I'll paste it over here. And then you can give a temperature value so that you get like similar result every time you kind of ask a ask like the same question. So here we have the temperature. Let me put this uh, LLM over here. And now we can create our agent. So say agent is equal to agent that we have imported, the agent class. And within that first pass your model. So my model is basically the LLM that we have loaded. And then uh, here you can you can just like give the description and this is very important. So here we have to say like uh, what's the purpose of this agent or like what you want the agent to do. So that's the purpose of this. So here I'm going to say you are a diligent research assistant skilled at gathering, analyzing, and uh, summarizing information something like that okay and let's break the line and summarizing information from multiple sources yeah. okay so this is what we want our agent to do so you are a diligent research assistant uh, skilled at gathering, analyzing and summarizing uh, yeah, information from multiple sources. So here you have a single string that defines like what we want our agent to do. So that's the description and this is very important as I said. So this, this kind of design decides like what we want the agent to do or like what's the goal of the agent. And in the next step, you can provide the tools that the agent has access to. So here we are going to use a DuckDuckGo tools, which is basically a search engine kind of a tool that helps the agent to search through internet to kind of gather relevant information. And we have another parameter called as show tool calls. So here I can keep it as true. So when you have it as true, you can see that uh, debug intermediate steps to see like, you know, what are all the tools that are called? What is the input to the tool and so on? So it's, it's very helpful for debugging purposes. So I'll toggle this to true, show tool calls. And then you can also say markdown is equal to true uh, to tell the agent or command the agent saying that I want the output in markdown format. So these are the things. So this is all we have to do. So you have imported agent and then you have the provision to use grok models. So you have kind of used the inbuilt tools that we have in agno tools. So you have loaded the dot env to load the environment variables and then we have uh, instantiated the grok lm and the agent. So this is all that we need. So all we have to do now is just like pass a query to the agent and it would be able to you know answer your question so here i'll create uh, another command saying from the agent to perform a research task this is all we have to do it, it, it's kind of like that simple just like what you would you know kind of do in uh, crew ai and, uh, and other frameworks like where it helps you to build agents in a easier way so i'll, I'll say agent dot print response so this is automatically is going to print the response for you i'll say research the impact of the ai on scientific discovery provide a summary with references Okay, so this is what we are going to do. It's, it's Let's say that this is basically a research agent where once you give a topic, it's going to do that research for you through uh, the web searches that it has access to. Okay, so let's run this. So this is a warning. So we can just like ignore that. And after that, we can say, so you can just like ignore this warning. So that's okay. So here you can see this message. 
research the impact of AI on scientific discovery, provide a summary with references. So this is basically the message that we've sent or like the query that we have kind of given as kind of a prompt. And here we have the response, right? So here I'm not seeing the tool calls. Maybe I'll just like run this again. Oh, okay. I think I made a slight error over here. So we have to put parenthesis, open and close parenthesis after this DuckDuckGo tools. And now let's run this and see. So this is a depreciation warning of this DDGS so that we can ignore. And here you can see the message that we have sent, which, which is research the impact of AI on scientific discovery, provide a summary with reference. So this is where we can see the tool calls, like what is the exact tool that it has called and what's the uh, you know input given to the tool. So this is getting printed because we have this show tool calls is equal to true. So it says it is kind of using this DuckDuckGo search tool that they have provided. Max results is equal to five. So it was able to get five search results for this query because we have asked it to look for like multiple references. So query is AI in scientific discovery. So it automatically frames like a proper search term. So this is the input that we have given it. So it's kind of uh, derived uh, search term which is AI in scientific query so it automatically does that and then we get this final response so you can also save this to a variable but we are using this print response so it's automatically printing it impact of AI on uh, scientific discovery and you see like the number of seconds it took so the impact of artificial intelligence and scientific discovery is multifaceted and profound and so on so you kind of like see all these outputs and finally it also have the details on like the references it has uh, kind of used in order to provide this answer so this is as simple as that so all you have to do is set up your LLM whatever provider that you are interested and using uh, instantiate or initialize this agent class provide your model uh, assign a proper description so this is very important as this is like kind of uh, uh, the key aspect where the agent is going to know what it has to do so very be very clear and uh, descriptive on your description uh, like like just have your goals clearly explained over here and then add the tools that you have access to like you can also have multiple tools so here we are just like using a single tool and this is like for the debugging purpose of show tool calls and then we said that use markdown is equal to true to uh, give the output in a markdown uh, format okay and finally you can use this agent.print in order to do a search uh, query for this so this is how you can build a ai agent using agmo so similarly this is also much easier when you want to create multi agent systems with agmo as well so maybe in the later videos we can discuss that so that is all from my side and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching